Hello everyone, it's Charlton. Please subscribe to uh, my channel and tap that notification bell like this video. That helps me to keep making videos. I'd appreciate it majorly. So there was, um, there was an unfortunate death in a demolition derby on Sunday evening. This is in Powell County, the Powell County Fairgrounds in, in Montana, which is um, it's basically in between Missoula, Montana, and Helena. Here's Powell County, so it's 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 in that area, and it was it was captured on video. Um, some of it, you know, um, some a bystander who was watching the event. It was Sunday evening around 9:35 p.m. is when the actual accident took place, and um, <clears throat> I'll show you a portion of it right here. Basically, you know, you have all these log barriers that um, make sure that the cars can't crash outside of it. But there's just one section over here where there's only a chain link fence that's uh, in between people watching. And actually, I think it's more like employees for the event. It was an EMT who was killed, an emergency you know, technician, I believe, uh, a woman who was 36 years old who was probably hit directly on. And another person was held back to, to a hospital who I think is going to survive, but the car's got to get in there, you know, uh, so that's the only place where there's not a log surrounding it, and so there's just a chain link fence separating whoever's watching in that section, you know, um, uh, um, you know, and, 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 and the arena. So these two cars right here are going to make their way over to this direction and the actual, the camera kind of follows it over. You'll see, you'll see the car go straight through, you know, and again, there's no log, it's this car here. So this car kind of pushes this one out of the way and they both make their way this way and then it just goes straight through the fence, you know. Uh, we don't know if the driver couldn't couldn't steer because these things there it's a it's a crash up derby you know whether he was locked in 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 that position and couldn't stop or what you know but just go straight through and uh, like I said a woman was killed it's pretty it's pretty awful I'll show you the video first and then just read the report that's on it from the uh, Mont Montana Montana Standard here it is. So yeah, it's um, it's it's pretty awful. I think the the car the car and the crash of Derby ended up hitting one of these trucks in there, you know, but hitting a, a few of the bystanders before, before beforehand. And again, here's another view of it. That's that chain link fence, and here's this is how the cars get in there, you know. So there's just that one place where there's not a log, you know. I I I would assume they're going to change that, you know, from now on. And either put a log in there after they enter, or you know, just never have anybody watching in that area. So a car taking part in a demolition derby at the Powell County Fairgrounds went out of control Sunday night and crashed through a fence in the only place where there were no barriers, killing an emergency medical technician and injuring seven others. Excuse me, seven others. Many others were injured. The driver had no control of his vehicle in those final moments. Powell County Sheriff Gavin Roselle said Monday he was unable to make take any evasive action. Chase Davis, 23, was at the derby with a group of Job Corps friends. And said it was only about a minute into the final event when things went wrong. He was recording video of the derby at the time, and that's what you just watched. So it sounded like the guy instantly revved up, and he couldn't stop or steer or anything. It went straight through the crowd. You could hear the people get hit, and then it hit a truck next to them. And it was loud. It was pure pandemonium. The woman died. Deer Lodge Medical Center, and one one man was flown by helicopter to another hospital, Rizal said. Three people remained hospitalized in stable condition Monday afternoon. One person left the hospital shortly after arriving, and two others were treated and released. The woman who died was 36-year-old uh, Derry Lynn Day, Derry Lynn Day of, um, of Anaconda, a Powell County Ambulance Emergency Medical Technician Services, were penning. Uh, pending with Longfellow, Finnegan, uh, Riddle Funeral Home. At 9.35, seven cars were competing at the final heat for the championship. There were large, long logs lined up all around the arena, but the car went through an area 
on the north side of the arena where the derby vehicles enter onto the track. There was only a six foot chain link, chain link fence in that, at that spot and the car toppled over that, struck a small set of bleachers and came to a stop only when it struck the Sun Mountain lodging truck used to transport the barrier logs. So, you know, that's a shame and um, that's pretty much the situation there. Alright, thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.